Hi everyone, so today's tutorial will be using the All May Intense Eye Color Everyday Neutral Powder Shadow in Trio for Brown Eyes. And they just tell you how to do it, but why read the instruction when you're watching this video? So, I used not to be a huge fan of the the, sh the jelly sh shadow they mousse I don't know what I'm talking about so these however are a really nice formula I prefer this one to the other one just because I don't wear a lot of blue shadow but I mean the quality is excellent but the it's the color so this of course is really right up my alley especially but I had one for, I think it was green eyes, and it was still amazing. It, it, it doesn't matter, it just guides you, but this one was the one I thought was the prettiest, so it turned out to be for blue eyes. So for my, I'm going to prune my lids using the Revlon For Ready Concealer. what the, the shadow were called they were the all May softies I was like jelly shit no it's softies they were like sort of moussey squishy but not the most pigmented I don't know so it's going to be really basic because it has three colors but you could use like this in the crease this on the lid this on the outer corner but I'm going to do as they advertise because it looks nice um, so I'm going to take the crease color and applying this, you guessed it, in my crease. And then as easy as it is, I'm using the gold shade using my finger. See, these shadows don't take a lot of effort and they're so pigmented. I wish they would release all of their singles in that formula because it is just, it's just so good. Their texture is also really creamy, which I do like. Like, it's a powder, but it's a creamy powder. So after wiping the brush on the tissue, I'm just going to take the highlight color right here and putting this under my brow and also applying it on the inner eye corner see it's just a basic look but it has an impact and if you just as I said earlier you just like put this in the, the lid this in the crease it looks like it's really some brightening eyes because that white is really that white is really pigmented and you could like use these as if they were a trio and blend everything and it would look fine like these are really blendable so I like them a lot so I'm going to do mascara liner or whatever and come back 